Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to read this tribute in honor of the memory of the late former Honorable Member for the then Inzima West constituency, now Jomoro constituency, Honorable James Van Leuven Mensa. Mr. Speaker, this world is a stage and men and women are merely actors. They have their entrance and exit, William Shakespeare. Mr. Speaker, the late James Van Leuven Mensa was born at Kengen on the 8th of February, 1937, to Eja Joseph Numwa Mensa and Agnes Nyanke Adela, all of blessed memory. He was the fourth of seven children, all of blessed memory. Honorable Leuven Mensa lost his father at a tender age and was thereafter raised by his mother with support from his uncles, Nyamke Bayela and Nyamke Ama. Mr. Speaker, the late MP had his basic education at the Benin Roman Catholic School from 1944 to 1950. He enrolled in Achimota Secondary School in 1951 and graduated with a Cambridge Overseas School Certificate GCE equivalent in 1955. For his tertiary education, he pursued science at the College of Technology, now KNUST, in Kumasi in 1956. He later enrolled on the ACCA program at the School of Administration, Achimota, now Gimpa, in 1962. In June 1965, he joined Balham and Tudin College of Commerce in London for his final ACCA. Mr. Speaker, in recognition of his professional achievements and conduct, he was given a fellow member of the Association of Chartered and Certified Accountants of England and Wales Award in 1973. Mr. Speaker, the late Honorable Lumen Mensa attended Chart University College for an intermediate LLB in 1983. He subsequently enrolled in the University of Beckenham Law School to achieve his final LLB in 1985. In 1986, he proceeded to the Pennsylvania State University Law School and obtained his master's degree in law. Mr. Speaker, after graduating, the late Honorable Leuven Mensa pursued a career in banking with UAC, now Unilever, as his first place of work in 1956, before going to the United Kingdom to complete his accountancy qualification. He secured his complete ACCA qualification in 1965 and returned to Ghana. He worked at the Bank of Ghana on his return. He began with the Foreign Operation and Exchange Control Department, where he worked as deputy manager from 1969 to 1971. He later joined the Internal Audit and Banking Examination and gradually progressed from working as manager, deputy chief manager, through to chief manager. He doubled as the Ghana Supply Commission's managing director from 1975 to 1979. Mr. Speaker, the late Leuven Mensah joined Dr. Hila Liman's People's National Party in 1979. He contested and won the Enzima West constituency, now Jomoro constituency, parliamentary seat on that ticket in that same year to become the only member of parliament for the area in the Third Republic. He also served as the chairman for the Ghana National Trading Corporation from 1979 to 1981 and doubled as the chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Land, Forestry, Fuel and Power from 1979 to 1981. Mr. Speaker, after the coup of December 1981, the late Honorable Mensa went into exile and on his return served as the chairman of the board of directors of the Jomro 
ruler bank until he fell sick. Mr. Speaker, he could not survive the sickness and finally kicked the bucket on the 9th of October 2021. That is indeed our inevitable end. That is Job 14, 1 to 2. And sadly, Mr. Speaker, Ghana has lost a great politician and a statesman. The late Honorable Member of Parliament left behind seven children and 11 grandchildren. Mr. Speaker, the records of this Honorable House reveal that the late Honorable James Leuven Mensa was a man of great candor and great integrity. His hard work and dedication to service in every area he found himself were very refreshing and exemplary. His excellence and success in all his endeavors therefore did not emerge as a surprise. And as a former member of parliament, he was and will always be remembered for his great contribution to education, banking and finance, great lobbying skills, leading to access of leading to access to electricity and the general welfare of the people of Enzima West. Mr. Speaker, yesterday was but a dream. Today is only a vision. But today well lived makes yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Kalidasa. On that score, Mr. Speaker, I would like to end my tribute to the late Honorable Luven Mensa with an assurance to the good people of Jomoro that the late Honorable James Luven Mensa may have departed, but his, but his remarkable legacies live on and shall be protected by those of us who now walk in his illustrious shoes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and this great, sorry, and this August House for the opportunity once again.